Gotcha. Um, the saying is true that if you lie down with dogs, you'll wake up with fleas, right? If you lie down in sin, or you lie down in ignorance to a degree, you will wake up with fleas. The warfare that we bring into our life is either intentional or based upon ignorance. Intentional means I'm sinning, I know I am, and I have this open door. So now you're getting a certain type of warfare that's in the form of torment. That's in the form of, of trickery. The warfare that we bring into our lives when it's intentional to a degree is anchored in ignorance. So many people have pictures on their wall, statues, rings, necklaces, documents, TV shows. We're giving those demons legal right in our lives. Legal right means I'm giving you permission. The enemy don't play fair, so they get permission without your permission, but they get permission because of your action. So when they say, oh, but you got this picture on the wall that was, the, that was created by a witch, or you got this, when you go to these, that's why people, when they go to these different countries and they start bringing home these statues, these elephants and these paintings and these portraits and these wooden things, they don't understand that those were made by witches. And witches put curses on everything that they make. The devil understands, I'm going to get into your life through what you purchase. When you purchase something, you're gaining, even in your ignorance, permission. So the warfare that you bring into your life could be because of an, an intentional, intentional sin and you just doing it and now you got sleep paralysis and now you got not sleep paralysis, but you got these demons sitting on top of you. Some people have demons having sex with them. So when people wake up with these dreams and when they wake up extra turned on and when they wake up a certain type of way, you was have, you know, you ever had those dreams where it felt too real? It was real. Demons will pervertedly infiltrate your life based upon what you, many people watching Power, they watching uh, Stars, things on, on Stars Network, nudity, they bring in pornography, they watching all these different things and they wondering why they're being tormented. Because whatever you allow to be the last thing to, to make a distinction in your atmosphere before you sleep will dictate how you sleep. So you leave the TV on and this, the messages are in your atmosphere. All the stuff you're doing, atmosphere. That's the way warfare comes to people's lives because of intentional sin and the demon says, that's unrepented, that's not repented for. So now I have permission. Or you repented for it, but you ain't really making no change. Your repentance is like a vapor, it's nothing. The enemy knows when you truly repented. The enemy knows when you meant something. You know how I know when the enemy, you know how I can tell you how the enemy uh, how I can tell you the enemy knows that you repented, the warfare, the resistance you feel the next day. When you strike the heavenlies, people forget just how powerful their little prayers are. Father God, I repent from this sin. And you feel that? Satan's kingdom or the part of his kingdom that's in your area feels that. The moment you begin to say, I'm no longer going to do this, and you meant that thing, you become a threat now because if you stay like that, you may convince Billy to change. You may, you may convince Martha to change, but he loves ignorance because he knows if they don't know about, I had a young lady call me for life coaching and her husband um, and her divorced maybe about a year ago. And um, she got rid of everything in her house but one thing. And she was like, Josh, I keep having these sexual dreams. I keep having these perverted dreams. I keep having that the lights were flickering in my hallway. And, I, and, and she was like, um, I don't know why, because I got rid of everything. I said, where did your husband sleep before you got rid of everything? She said, when we was separated, not separated, when we was about to divorce, before it really happened, most of his sins happened on the couch. I said, get rid of the couch. I said, you know why? I'm pretty sure he watched porn on that couch. I'm pretty sure when you wasn't there, he did stuff on the couch. She already got rid of the mattress, but the couch still allowed the presence to be there. 
I told her, get rid of the couch and I promise you a change. A couple of weeks later, she told me, nothing happened. You got a clean house. You got a clean house inside. Oh, I'm free. Yes, I'm clean. Not only are you clean, you got to fill it up with the word of God. You got to fill that. The Bible says when a demon has left you, it's been swept. They leave for a while or for vacation. Then when they come back, they're like, man, I kind of want to see how he doing. It's clean, but it's not full. Wait right here. I believe it's seven times more. Not only do you need to clean yourself and fill yourself, you got to clean your house. Everywhere sin was practiced, get rid of it. I say, I don't care them babies sit on the floor. Get rid of that couch. Because if she had a 13-year-old girl, she had a 16-year-old girl, and she had an 11-year-old son. I hope the ages are right, but that's about right. I said, if you don't get rid of that, that spirit's going to jump on your son. That spirit's going to jump on your daughters. They may not be jumping on them right now because you're covering them. But wait till baby girl gets 16. Wait till baby girl gets 17 and she start making sins of her own. Demons will wait in your house until the weaker becomes mature enough to sin. That's why you got to say, okay, if the warfare is from me, it's from me because I'm either, I'm either practicing sin or I have something in my home that's giving them legal right to bother me. Warfare that's brought into your life outside of that is when you have no record of unrepented wrongs. No record of swaying. You love God. You've been praying. You've been fasting. You've been reading God's word. You've been doing your best and you're still getting warfare. That means you're in a wrestling match. You're being strengthened by a spar partner. But if it's just torment and you just getting beat and you just it's just messy. You know when it's messy. You know that's something in your house or you're practicing something. That's the best way I can put it. Hope that helped.